Hey guys, so we're just going to go over the using uh, ZBrush's insert multi mesh brush um, and the reasons why you might use it and when you might use it. So, in this instance, we've just been sculpting up a creature bust, um, and there's a couple of things that are going to be on this creature which will be repeating. So, notice I've just kind of sketched in some outlines for some panels on the back here, some armor plating. Um, there'll be little bits of um, armor plating off to the side here, kind of in the skin, which will be made up of little repeating parts. And then, of course, we still haven't got teeth yet um, or any of that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is use this as an example of how to create an insert multi-mesh brush. Um, for those of you who aren't aware what an insert multi-mesh brush is, I'll just quickly show you. So in your brush menu, if you press I, highlights everything that starts with I, and there's a bunch of these brushes that have IMM in it. So this is an insert multi-mesh brush. So just for example, I'll bring up the um, the insert multi-mesh dragon bone or industrial parts. And so it gives you this brush and then when you click and drag on your object, it actually adds meshes to your object. So this is a really quick way to add detail and kit bash, which is using existing parts to build new models really quickly. Uh, if you press the M button, it brings up a list of available meshes which you can use to insert. So what we're going to do now is you can create your own insert multi-mesh brushes so that way you've got your own unique tools to work with and your own unique um, you know, sets of forms to work with when creating your creatures and models. So what I've done is I've created, I've started another um, file, another tool which has a bunch of these parts that I'm going to use on my monster. So just a generic, a bunch of generic armor plating parts. So these ones here. Um, and two different types of teeth. So I've just got a incisor and a molar type tooth. Um, now what you need to do is in your sub tools, what you need to do is make sure that each of these meshes that you want to insert individually are a separate sub-tool. Um, obviously you don't want to have them, you know, millions and millions of polys because it's just going to make your sculpt get, you know, ridiculously big really quickly. So I've Z-remeshed most of these to make them nice low poly with nice topology. For those who aren't aware, Z-remesher is under geometry, Z-remesher, Z-remesher. You just set your target poly count to, for these forms, they're relatively small, to 0.2, so that's about 200 polys. So now what I'm going to do is create the multi mesh brush. Now, to do this, all you need to do is line up your meshes in the direction that you want to insert them onto your mesh. So in this case, I've got these armor plating sections here, and I want to insert them to my mesh so they sit flush with it, they sit flat with it. If I created the brush while the camera was facing this way, they would insert side on, which isn't what we want. So I'm just going to go from front on here. And now under my brush menu, there's a create insert multi mesh option at the top here. If you click that, it will now create the multi mesh brush for you and add it to the list of your brushes here. What you can do now is save that, so save your brush as IMM Dropbox, brush, brushes, IMM monster bits, and I'll also save that project as well as IMM monster bits, so I can come back and edit it at a later date. Now. Now that I've got the brush here, notice the same as before with the other ins uh, insert multi mesh brush. If I press M, it brings up all my other brush meshes, which I can then use to insert. Okay, so just to show you how they're used, I'm going to pop back over to my monster. And 
So here I might go, I'll grab, see about putting one of these armor plates on. Alright, it's round, kind of round the wrong way a bit. So we'll do, come up to the top. Rotating around. So just using your move, scale and rotate tools to kind of just push it into place. There you go, and now you have some simple armor plating. So you can come back in and um, push that around a little bit, get it right into the spot you want. Um, I can then go in and either split that out as a separate sub tool because every time you use an insert multi mesh, it comes in as a separate poly group. So I could um, insert another one up here and place it as well, or I could split using group split my tool up, so I've still got my head and my piece of armor plating here. Then I could duplicate that, move it up, scale it a little bit, put it into place and then just come back into my move brush to get some nice adjustments here. So you can see here this would save you a lot of work. If You, you could go through and model each of these by hand and that's fine. Um, it's a perfectly legitimate workflow. It just will take you a lot of time. So if you want to save yourself some time, learn to use multi-mesh brushes. Also another cool thing that multi-mesh brushes do is if you're concepting up a creature, or you know, well in this case we've made a bit of a monster armor um, plating tooth brush set, I can now just grab this brush set whenever I need it and just start hacking away at making, um, you know, knock up a bust, drop some armor plates in, drop some teeth in, and you know I'm well on my way to concepting out a creature relatively quickly. Um, Another quick example, so I'll bring up the I'll jump back under this guy. Still with the insert multi mesh brush mesh, and I'll bring up my little bits of armor plating. So I've got these little bits here. So I can just come out. Just a few little bits of armor plating in here. Swap to another mesh. You know, they're all getting a slightly different rotation here, so you know they're getting. You can kind of tell that they're a little bit different and you can also go, through, go back through and move them as well. Um, let's drop in. There you go. So you're not perfect at the moment but you can see what I mean so you can go in and start detailing that way. Same as if I was to go in and start doing the mouth with the gums, I can then just grab my teeth, which I've already done, and drop them into the gums and start building out teeth. Cool, so that's insert multi-mesh brushes. So the main shortcuts to remember are M to bring up your mesh menu. Uh, when you're creating your insert multi-mesh brush, make, make sure that your camera is facing the way that you would like your meshes to insert. Um, and just remember to, once you've created your brush, to save your brush from your brushes menu. So it's under brush, save as. Cool. Thanks.